Welcome to our lecture online. Now, if you understand transformers, this is probably one of the easier questions on the test. This is a follow-up question from the one where we had to calculate the power laws on the transmission lines if we use the direct method from factory to customer across the line at 4,000 volts. So here again, we're transporting 600 kilowatts of power, but instead of doing the direct method at 4,000 volts, we're going to use a step up and a step down transformer. So the question is, the step up, step down method with a cable of resistance of 0.4 ohms per kilometer is used. If the number of turns in the primary to the secondary step up transformer is 1 to 10, 1 to 10, and if the power has to be provided to the consumers at 200 volts at the far end, what is the ratio of turns in the step-down transformer? So what is the ratio of turns in the step-down transformer if we use this as a step-up? And at the end, we want to have 200 volts going to the consumer. All right. So first of all, what we need to do is figure out what will be the voltage on the lines if we use a 1 to 10 step-up. Now, what that means is we will multiply the 4,000 volt going into the transformer times 10 to 1, and that will be the voltage coming out of the transformer. So V out, so this is on the step up. V out is going to be equal to V in times the ratio of 10 to 1. So in this case, that is 4,000 volts times 10 over 1, which means 40,000 volts will go across the power lines, 40,000 volts. And we showed you on the previous video what a benefit that was by stepping up from 4,000 to 40,000 volts because our power loss went from 30% to just 0.3%. But of course, you can give power to the consumers at 40,000 volts. That would be extremely dangerous in the houses. So you want to step down. And you want to step down to 200 volts. So there what we need to do is we need a step down transformer and notice we need a lot of turns on the input and few turns on the output which will step it down. So we'll have a large to a small ratio to step down the transformer. So we have to switch these here. So we have V in equals V out times X over one which is equal to What's the V output? Well, we need 200 volts and we need some X over one so that this will be equal to the input voltage, which is 40,000 volts. So the input voltage is 40,000 volts. The output is 200 volts. So what do I need to multiply the 200 volts with to get 40,000 volts? So that means that X is equal to 40,000 volts divided by 200 volts which is 200 to 1. So the ratio is 200 to 1, step down, 200 in the primary, so what that looks like is you'll have 200 times as many turns in the primary versus 1, so the ratio will be 200 to 1, 200 to 1 on the step down to bring the voltage all the way from 40,000 volts down to 200 volts, and you can see that the answer in this case would be answer A. So even if you don't remember the exact equation, the ratio is pretty straightforward. You want to step up, if it's a 10 to 1 step up, you have a tenfold increase in the voltage. Then if you want to go from 40,000 volts to 200 volts, that's a 200 to 1 decrease. So your step down will be from 200 down to 1. And that's how they say it. It's a step down from 200 to 1, or it's a step up from 1 to 10 on the step up and 200 down to 1 on the step down transformer and that is how it's done. Did you lose any? Uh, down? That's a excuse me, that's a really good question. Do we use power, do we lose power on the step up and the step down? The answer is a little bit, but it's fairly insignificant. So the transmission, the change is used through induction, essentially is induced EMF. And so the the magnetic field changes that happen through a change because you're doing this with oscillating current, so the change in the primary will cause a change in the secondary. 
The only losses, there's some eddy current losses in here and a little bit of resistance losses. So every transformer does heat up. If you have a transformer, you feel it. It does get warm, so there's a little bit of power loss. And uh, there is some eddy currents that make it less than 100% efficient, but it's close to 100% efficient and the resistance is relatively small compared to the enormous amount of power going through the transformer. So yes, you lose some power, but it's pretty small. Good question. Yes, good questions. <laughs> 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 <laughs>